this question has been floating around my brain since I heard Walter Morton uh, <laughs> talk on it years and years and years and years ago. Um, I, I, he, it was on one of his tapes, as I remember. But it concerns the uh, the Trinity, and I still haven't gotten your book, but I, I need to do that. You probably referenced it in the book, too. Yeah, I did. But uh, I think Morton's view was that uh, he viewed Jesus as the eternal Word who became the Son in the Incarnation. Right. And I'm wondering if that's a violation of the doctrine of the Trinity or not. Yeah, uh, with all due respect and love for Walter, it was. Um, and there have been uh, a number of other people who have um, uh, missed that point. Um, and uh, yes, thank you. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, it, it is It is problematic. The, um, uh, For example, in Colossians chapter 1, the Son is described as... as uh, eternally existing in, in the presence of the Father. Uh, Jesus describes himself in that way. The idea of um, almost adoptionism or a Logos Christology, which, which Martin did have some issues with, I, I don't know, honestly, what motivated him toward those perspectives. Um, there are other people that have promoted the same perspective I, for a period of time. John MacArthur did as well. He has changed his view on that um, and did so like 20 years ago now. Um, but uh, it, it did have some popularity, and um, but I, I think it, it's, it's based upon a, a fundamental misunderstanding. You, you, you don't become the son. Um, this is a relational term, and uh, it, it is not one that has temporal aspects to it, it in, in the sense of um, in the Incarnation, the, the, the person of the Son is more clearly seen as the one sent by the Father, um, but that does not mean that in eternity past there was just this undifferentiated um, Logos-type concept um, uh, that uh, that existed. So yeah, I do address uh, that in uh, the Forgotten Trinity, and you're you're not crazy. Uh, Walter Martin did have a, an unusual view on that. Like I said, he's not the only one that is that has held that. I don't think it's something that's going to obviously um, send somebody to uh, the fiery pits of hell. Um, right. And so certainly, Walter knew the arguments on the other side. I I honestly don't know how he responded to them. Uh, to be right. perfectly honest with you, but um, yeah, uh, that's. Um, but you did detect a a difference there, and 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 you're correct. And uh, I suppose logically that if you took that position, you'd have to say the first person of the Trinity wasn't the Father from all eternity. It it would seem to uh, be a logical uh, step to take at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Well, okay. Thanks for. Uh, the opportunity to get that off my chest. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And out of my head. Thank you. All right. God bless. Bye-bye.